Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up my interface and my graphics in my game. So I start by creating a new project. I'm under My Projects. I'm going to go to App Lab because I want an App Lab application. First thing I want to make sure I do is rename it. So I'm going to rename. I'm going to call it Game. And I'm going to hit Save. So now it's telling us when it was saved. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create three screens. So the first one is created for us automatically. We're going to rename it. We're going to go to Design. Next, we're going to change the name. I like to use the practice for objects in an interface where you first put the type of object it is, in this case screen, and then an underscore, and then the name of your object. So we're going to put it Game, uh, because this is the Game screen. Next, we're going to make another screen. So we're going to drop down here. We're going to say new screen. And I'm going to call this one screen underscore lose. And then finally, I'm going to make a third one. And I'm going to call this one screen underscore win. Now let's start by going to the game screen. We're going to have to put some graphics in here. So I'm going to start by image. I'm going to drag image over here. I want to call this image underscore hero. I'm going to choose the image. I'm going to go to Upload File. This is going to put in my directory. So I want the night. Now that I've got it uploaded, it's in my assets, so I'm going to choose it. So I've got two problems with this night. One is that it's too big for my purposes. And the second I click on it, I can see there's some white borders on the left and right side. And that's going to mess up my collision checking. So I'm going to click and drag the lower right hand corner until it's both the right size and I've got no white space either on the top or the bottom or the left or the right so then it'll be just perfect for my collision checking I want it about this big and you can see I can either click and drag or I can manually adjust the width and the height I can also manually adjust the location right now it's at an X of 85 and a Y of 125 I need to add an enemy now, so I'm going to grab another image. I'm going to choose. I need to upload another file. So this one I'm going to use the orc. I'm going to choose the orc. So again, this one's too big. I'm going to click on my knight and see it's got a width of 55. So I'm going to click back on the orc. I'm going to give him a width of 55 to start out with. And let's look at the knight. His height is 65, so we'll start out with 65. So that actually looks pretty good. I'm just going to tweak it a little bit because i got a little white space on the top and the bottom. I'm going to click and drag. And there we go. Just about perfect. I need to name it. So I'm going to call it image underscore orc underscore one. This is the first one, and I'm going to duplicate it. This next one I am going to call image underscore orc underscore two then I'm going to duplicate it again move it out of the way and this one will be image underscore orc underscore three and we'll move these around a little bit later we'll just leave them in these places for now so I'm done with those three orcs now I gotta create the items to be collected so I'm gonna drag another image here I'm gonna say choose I'm gonna upload a file then I am going to go to Jungle Planet, which is one of the items to be collected. I'm going to say Choose. So this one I'll need to click and drag to adjust the height and width. So that looks about right. So I will call this Image underscore Item underscore 1. I'm going to duplicate it. We have another one. Image underscore Item underscore two duplicate image underscore item underscore three then we'll make a final one which will be image underscore item underscore four so now I've got my enemies my hero my items to be collected let's go make the win screen so screen win I'm going to make a text area now I'm going to give this, I'm going to call it text underscore win. And this is just the ID, how it's accessed in programming. Now the actual text that's displayed will be in this text box. So I'm going to say you win 
and some exclamation marks. It's a little too small, so I'm going to scroll down. Under font size, I'm going to try 35. Okay, that looks good. Let's rearrange that so it's a little tighter around the actual text. Center it a little more. Next, I want to put an image. So I'm going to put an image here. I'm going to choose the image right here. I'm going to do a picture of the night. And I like that size. I'm going to leave it there, make sure it's kind of nice and centered. I'm going to call this image underscore night underscore win. Got to make sure that every ID for every element in the program, even if they're on different pages, are different somehow. Okay, let's go to screen lose. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a text area. Put it right there. I'm going to call it text underscore lose. I'm going to, the actual text will be in there is you lose exclamation points. Then I'm going to scroll down. We'll change the font size to 25. Again, I will adjust this. Get it in a nice position. Then I will grab an image, put it right about there. I will call this image orc lose. And then I will go to choose. I will choose the orc. And there we go. So now I've got my three screens. I've got my items on the screen. And I'm ready to start programming. So to see the next video in the curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.